Hey everybody, this is Danny from Lantana Games, and today I'm going to show you how you can quickly make your own jack-o'-lantern for the Art Hallows Eve Pumpkin Carving Contest. Let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up Steam and go over to the Library tab, and you're going to find Mondrian Plastic Reality. Click on that, or you can find it in the list over here wherever you've put it. And you're going to go to the Workshop tab. And then in Steam Workshop, you're going to go to Templates. And then under Templates, you're going to find the Pumpkin template. Click on that, and then click this green Subscribe button. As soon as you hit Subscribe, you're good to go. The game will automatically download the template from the main menu, so all you have to do is start the game, and then we'll jump into Mondrian Maker and get our spooky on. Alright, I'm here in Mondrian Maker, and we're going to click this open button right here, and we're going to scroll down until we find Pumpkin Template. We'll open that up. Now before we do anything, we'll want to change the title of the level so we don't overwrite the template. So just hold down delete to clear this bar and give it a new title. Right. So you really don't have to worry about a whole lot here. Um, all you have to worry about is this paintbrush tool right here. And what this is going to do is this is going to allow you to paint your pumpkin. Um, so each time you paint a block, it'll take the color that you have selected in there. Um, so if I say want like a really tall triangle kind of look for my eyes, right? And then do like that. That's good. Right there. And then I can just unpaint that square there so I can get some eyes. And then we can do sort of a goofy smile. You know, we can even freeform that if we want to. Um, you can go as in-depth uh, with colors. You have full RGB control down here. Um, you know, so like, I don't know, maybe you want to add purple eyeballs onto your pumpkin. You can do that. Um, if you want to, say, shade your pumpkin more uh, towards the end. So, like, when we cut this in half, and then 192 divided by 2 is 96. So, we could even do like this and add some depth to our pumpkin. And then bring that up a little bit more even so we can do like that we can do like that I don't know make it look a little rounder and then if you screw up anywhere you can always just eyedropper to grab a color just fill in you know so you can add some depth you can add some design um, you can do pretty much whatever you want. This is a very freeform contest. Something like that. Yeah, I think that's kind of funny. Um, you could even add a little, like, you know, if you want, if you want to go more in depth, you can always add more blocks. There's no rules against that. And you can, like, Give it some cat's ears if you want to. It's totally freeform. Uh, but once you have a design you like, you can just save. And then click this button here. This is the player level button. And select open in studio. And then that will bring you to the game's uh, Mondrian Studio 
This is a uh, graphic design suite. And you can just quickly go in here and set your color schemes to how you like it. Um, and we're currently, yeah, so we feel like that. You know, so then we'll get an orange border, but uh, we were in grayscale, so the background set to black and white. So why don't we set that to one color and we get nice and orange, a nice orange look to everything. Oh, yep, 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 we want the cat. Perfect. Um, and then all we have to do, um, you know, if you want film grain off, you can turn the film grain off. If you want the CRT off, turn that off. You can select between day and night mode. Since this is Halloween, I recommend night mode. Um, not that you'll lose any points if you choose day mode. Um, you can even bring in your own backgrounds. Uh, 1920 by 1080 JPEGs uh, will work basically perfectly. Um, and just check out uh, last month's blog post uh, to, or yeah, last month's blog post to, uh, to see how to do that. And then all we have to do, we can just choose a, uh, a logo style. Um, we'll go with the cast. And then I'll put the cast down in this corner. And then you just hit save thumbnail. Just like that. And then hit escape and quit. And then finally, you're going to hit this button right here. This is the share your level button. Uh, there's a few new options in here. So... Uh, for the contest, we'll want it public, but you can also set this to friends only or to completely private. But we want this public. This is a level, so we're going to keep it as a level. But if we had decided to make a new pumpkin template, we could also set it to template. And then since a gala is live, we can choose between free form or gala entry. And we're actually going to set this as gala entry. And what that will do is... This will tag it uh, with the Art Hallows Eve uh, gala tag. And so when we go around and start handing out everybody their wooden frames and their, their PO apps just for participating, uh, we'll be able to see all the new gala entries right from, right from here. So do that, then just hit the button, and it's uploaded. And that's really all there is to it. So less than five minutes, we've made a pumpkin. Um, and it's, it's a very silly looking pumpkin, but it is a pumpkin nonetheless. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I am very much looking forward to seeing uh, all your jack-o'-lanterns this month. Happy Halloween. Uh, happy Art Hallows Eve. And go get creative.